It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna recant, take back, deny, modify the words that I shared about the Canon EOS RP. I was wrong. And what I love about the YouTube community is you all jumped in and shared your input corrected some misunderstandings I had, added some information, and I even had a friend, Carlos Ray, a photographer I've gone out to shoot landscape photography with in Southern California. He actually contributed a video with some of his top tips and suggestions. So uh, without further ado, you're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, in this video, we're gonna go first through the errors, the miscalculations, the misunderstandings, the mistakes that I made about the Canon EOS RP, and we're gonna correct those. And then we'll get into one YouTube uh, user. He sent me his custom setup tips. We're gonna share that. And we're gonna hear from Carlos Ray about his top three reasons that he chooses the, the Canon EOS RP and also his top suggestions and considerations if you're looking at this camera for you. All right, so, um, so recently I got my hands on the Canon EOS RP. It's been a few months uh, since then, uh, but this video got a lot of comments and I really appreciated the people that chimed in. And so I went to address them by name and talk about the value that they added to uh, the, the video that I made. The sharing of knowledge in a spirit of kind heartedness and good heartedness like I found on this video, it reminds me of a better world and you are all making that happen. So thank you for tuning in. And so um, I'm gonna set you straight after I set me straight on some points I got wrong about the Canon ESRP. Um, so my mistakes, focus hunting. At one point I held the camera up and the RF 35 millimeter lens was hunting and pecking and hunting and pecking. Um, that's annoying. I was just sort of watching it. So here is some information from YouTube username Cool Ooks. Focus hunting is due to having continuous autofocus turned on, okay? And so you go to the first tab, the camera icon, page seven, second to last item, and uh, you can turn that on, turn that off. It's not servo mode, uh, which has, uh, is a setting that has the camera permanently focusing. So even when you're not uh, touching the shutter button. So you can change that, you can turn that off. Um, now, another reason to turn it off, he adds, is it runs down the battery. While you just might be holding your camera and it's focusing, it's running down the battery and driving you nuts at the same time. This is a setting in all EOS cameras, and so that is a great tip, and thank you for setting me straight. Now on the same subject, YouTube user named Jerry Suarez de Real, hopefully I said that right, is he says the annoying thing on the lens is because I have it in autofocus. This is another perspective. I could have just switched to manual focus and it would have stopped. So that is another good point. Uh, that's why it's always searching because I have an autofocus that's in my control and I could have changed that. So thank you, Jerry. Now, um, I had expressed some, uh, some bummers, some woes around the mode selection. I'll call them mode selection woes. And so um, this is one issue and it had three solutions or three points of view. So thank you to the YouTube uh, community. And this is why I love the YouTube community so much. So the question I had is when I choose a mode in video mode, um, I select and then I get all, so I get all the modes shown to me when I switch into video mode, I select one and then I wanna change. I have to select, I thought, go to photo mode, back to video mode, then I get all my selections again. And that is wrong. Uh, I thought, wow, that's really inconvenient, but somebody had the answer. This is YouTuber uh, username, Andrew Does Hair. He says, you can disable the mode guide if it bugs you. So that was a great tip. Now, uh, Jerry Suarez de Real, again, back with the same uh, good information he shared earlier. He said, the mode button is not on the RP, just like the mode button is not on the R6, but the R5. So the RP has mode selection on the screen, but not on the button. And the R6 has mode selection on the screen for video and not on uh, the button like the R5 does. So that's actually one of the reasons, uh, a feature that made me choose the R5 over the R6. So good information from Jerry. Thank you again. 
And then um, we actually have another solution from YouTube username Mal Media. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, just click the Q button. The Q button, the quick menu, will bring back the video mode selection screen. So there you go. You can disable it, hit the Q button, or you can choose a different camera uh, and get one that has the mode button like the R5 or the EOS R. Now, let's get into custom setup tips. Uh, these are from Cool Ook's uh, YouTube username. He says he has the RRP and he's customized all of the buttons for fast, easy use. And this is his photography setup. On the four-way joypad, he has the up arrow triggering uh, picture styles. The left arrow is server or one-shot AF or autofocus. The down arrow makes the autofocus point active. So now the four arrows move the autofocus point and the right arrow is the drive mode, single, continuous, high-speed, continuous, and self-timers. Those are great tips for photography and I wish I had uh, used them and known that when I had the EOS RP in my hands. So now he goes on to say other buttons that he customizes. The Q set button, he says he uses that for autofocus point types, single, spot, tracking, and zones. The autofocus on button, he uses that to toggle eye detection on or off. The autofocus selection button, button he uses for picture quality. The exposure lock button, he uses for depth of field preview. The record button, he uses that to turn on the Wi-Fi menu. The multi-function button, he uses that to toggle the rear uh, LCD or electronic view finder. So great setup tips. Now, here's another comment from YouTube username Kulux. You can use custom tabs too. You can name them and have the camera go straight to them by default when you hit the menu button. So the camera will default to the last item you changed in the custom tab. Great tip, I didn't have it for that long to explore that. I actually need to do that on my uh, R5, kind of dial that, uh, the custom uh, tabs in too. All right, so on to another tip from YouTube username Alex McCape. Uh, he asked, this is not a tip, but a question and a clarification. Can you use the touch screen with gloves on? And he says this is a relevant uh, question in, in cold climates or cold countries. So my perspective is you won't be able to use it with gloves on uh, unless you have a special type of gloves. Like I've had a pair of gloves where the fingertip of the index finger is thinner material or some sort of special material just so, to allow you to use your cell phone. Um, but it, it might be finicky in cold weather, and so I would say no, if you have gloves on, it's gonna be very difficult to use the, um, the touch screen. All right, now back to another tip from YouTube username Mal Media. You can lock the shutter down by manually initiating the sensor cleaning mode and turning it off after you hear the first click. So you can lock the shutter button down. That's a great tip. And now we're gonna hear from my friend Carlos Ray. Now he gave me um, a few minutes of information about the RP. I think this is super valuable. And so we're gonna watch this and I'm just gonna react as uh, he gives us his information. First, Carlos is gonna tell us about three reasons he thinks the RP deserves your attention. Let's hear it from Carlos. Hey Wes, thank you for asking me to do this. I really appreciate it. Um, I've been an RP user for about two and a half years or so, more or less now. Um, really enjoy the camera. It's a very good camera. Um, I think the top three things that I really like about this thing is, number one is the value. You really get a heck of a lot of camera for what you're paying. Brand new is under a thousand bucks. Used market, 800, 700. Uh, some folks have been able to pick them up for $600. Fantastic value in that sense. Uh, number three would be, well, number two, sorry, would be my, my electronic viewfinder. Uh, I like the ability to be able to have full visibility, what you see is what you get, kind of a shooting style. Um, and you get to really connect with this camera to your subject. You don't have to be constantly pulling away from the viewfinder to set up your, to look for your settings, to look at the buttons, to see what else you have to do. Um, it's not as bad as people say. Uh, number three, I think, would be uh, the multifunction button. Um, again, going back to that connection to the, to the subject, multifunction button, basically as it comes from the camera stock, allows me to do have full control. I shoot mainly manual mode, so allows me to have full control over ISO, shutter, um, and, uh, and the aperture uh, between the two main dials in the camera and then the multifunction button. And now let's hear from Carlos on his top tips. Now these are 
things that he suggests or he asks that you consider when you're using the EOS RP. Um, the one thing, tips that I would recommend when using the RP would be, um, I always expose to the right. Uh, the RP has a very good uh, highlight recovery. You can actually put highlights uh, far back down again and you can get some very good detail in your highlights, of course, as long as you don't blow them out. Uh, blown highlights you can never recover regardless of how expensive your equipment is. Uh, but highlight recovery in this is fantastic. Shadow recovery, on the other hand, is not very good. It'll get you about one stop without breaking apart. Uh, after one stop, one and a third, you start getting a lot of noise and a lot of uh, um, specs, colored specs and whatnot. So I, I don't recommend pushing it higher than one and a half stop or one and a third stops. But I expose to the right and then bring it down so that I can adjust my shadows and my highlights and everything else as I need to without making any real sacrifices to the images. And I'll share with with um, with Wes uh, two, two specific shots where you can see the, the significance in, in, in bringing down the highlights and being able to maintain some great shadows, shadow detail. And the bonus feedback. Let's hear the bonus feedback. Uh, and lastly, I think uh, the one thing that I'll say, maybe a little controversial, the battery is not that bad, guys. Uh, you, you actually have, uh, I can actually get with a standard battery, the stock battery from the camera, about 400, 450 shots, including some long exposures. And I bought some aftermarket batteries. Um, I think it was like two for $20 or $25 from Amazon. Um, and between the three batteries that I have, I actually get to shoot somewhere around 1,500 shots, uh, which is more than I would ever really require uh, on, on, on any given daily shoot. But again, the batteries are so small and so easy to carry that in fact, uh, here I have in a small SD card holder, I have two SD cards in, in the front here and my two batteries in the back. And I can actually just take this, slip it in my back pocket, go out with my camera on a strap and it's perfectly fine. Uh, it's not too big to carry. So really enjoy it. Uh, it's not as bad as it seems and for again for the camera that you get for under a thousand dollars there really isn't any camera for a, a, a beginner or even an intermediate uh, shooter um, out there that would not benefit from a Canon RP. Uh, I hope those tips helped. I hope my point of view maybe will help somebody make a decision on the RP. Uh, it's a great camera and I'm pretty sure you'll thoroughly enjoy it. All right guys, thank you. So that's great. The battery is better than you might think. Let's see some sample shots from Carlos Ray Photography. that's it. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully this has added information, added insight from other people in the YouTube community and the photography community to help you consider the EOS RP or use it to its maximum, maximum potential. Thank you for joining me. Hit subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit like and leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching this from, whether you have the Canon EOS RP or are thinking about it and let me know how your day is going. Talk to you later. Bye. Peace.